Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim Santos, if you're new, and today on my channel I'm doing a video on universal red lipsticks. Pretty much what that means is we're talking about red lipsticks that look good on everyone, on every skin tone, no matter how light or how dark. I have three that I'm going to show you today that I really love. They're all high-end, but they differ at different prices. Two are liquid lipsticks and one is just a regular tube lipstick. It's perfect for the holiday season coming up to make this video because red lipsticks, you see them on everyone. It's just like a festive time the year and you can really get away with a nice classic red lipstick kind of like what I'm doing right now and also this video is kind of like a little bit of a review for the new Stunna lip paints by Fenty Beauty in the colored and censored this liquid lipstick just came out and I've been trying it out and I've kind of played with it a little bit already and I absolutely love it but we're gonna talk more about this liquid lipstick also before I get on with the video if you haven't already subscribe to my channel if you like makeup videos reviews tutorials and other fun videos I do all that stuff on my channel, but anyways, let's continue on with this video. So, to get a perfect universal red shade that's going to work for multiple skin tones, it needs to be something that's not too orange, not too pink, but oddly as it sounds, something blue toned. A lot of the perfect reds I love have like a blue undertone to them and they make your teeth white, which is... It's nice because uh, my teeth aren't white. And also as risky the color red can be while wearing it because it's bright and it's, it's not like a nude shade or a gloss, something clear on top. Red is a color that a lot of people can pull off because the color is out there. It's a very solid color. It just depends on which red you're going to choose and the different undertones it has. So I'm gonna swatch a couple different lipsticks so you can kind of tell which ones look more universal. A lot of brands carry some great ones and I'm just gonna show you some of the ones I really love. I think that work for a lot of different skin tones and our universal red lipsticks. I have three universal red liquid lipsticks. I have Heartbreaker by Huda Beauty. This one is a really pretty red liquid lipstick. I'm just gonna swatch Huda Beauty's right up here. So this is the shade Heartbreaker. I really love this one. It's the most similar to Uncensored. It's really pretty as well. Now usually for liquid lipsticks, I don't really line my lips just because I feel like the liquid lip kind of helps me to do that. And liquid lipsticks wear off differently than tube lipsticks. So I usually just use that. I'm not a really big fan on the smell of these ones. They have a very strong smell and they kind of remind me of like vanilla and rub. I don't know. So once again, this is Huda Beauty's Heartbreaker Liquid Lipstick. This one is really stunning as well. It also dries to a matte formula. It's starting to dry a little bit now. So now we're gonna kiss our hand and nothing. It's all good. I really like the shade of this one. This one's like pretty. And the formula is pretty good, but if obviously like you're drinking, you're eating, you're talking, you're doing whatever you're doing with your lips, it'll start to crumble off in the middle instead of it evenly going away. I've been literally applying foundation every like two seconds to cover off all their like red stains. I look like a vampire with all these red stains on my face. Honestly, like I feel like my lips might fall off, but that's fine. The next universal red lipstick I have to show to you today is, it's a pretty new one. And the one I have in my hand is Fenty Beauty's new Stunna Lip Paints in the color Uncensored. I feel like as the years go on, people are more inclined to wear liquid lipsticks because they last longer and liquid lipsticks tend to be more matte. So if you want that perfect matte red lipstick, a lot of them are liquid. I'm just swatching it right here. This is Uncensored by Fenty Beauty. This one's definitely darker than Ruby Woo, just because it is a liquid lipstick. I have other red liquid lipsticks, but none of them are as like liquidy and pigmented as this one. On the box of this brand new product, it says long wear fluid lip color. And it also says one stroke intensity, 12 hour matte wear. I honestly agree on the box, like you need the smallest amount for this liquid lipstick. Like the littlest thing will cover your whole lip. You don't need to go back into the tube at all. And also the wand is like really different. I haven't seen a doe foot like this compared to all other liquid lipsticks. It has like an hourglass shape. Like it's really weird. It looks like an hourglass. So now we're gonna apply this one. Even sometimes when I'm applying this on, I'll like kind of scrape some off because I know I don't need that much. Like it looks like I bit into someone. I bit into an apple, like. And 
This one is Uncensored by Fenty Beauty. This has been my new favorite. And I feel like this liquid lipstick, doesn't matter how often you use it, will last you such a long time. I really like the shade of this one. I feel like this liquid lipstick is just a little bit darker than the Heartbreaker one by Huda Beauty. And I feel like this formula is softer on my lips. It doesn't feel as heavy as the Heartbreaker one did. Plus, the packaging is amazing. It, it's really nice. Now I'm gonna kiss my hand. A little bit did come off, maybe because I didn't let it fully dry down. But the areas that showed up were in the inside of my lips, so like little crevices. So maybe it didn't have time to completely dry down those areas. This one by Fenty Beauty, her campaign features a lot of different women of different colors, different skin tones, and they all look amazing with this on. So the next one I have is a tube lipstick. So this is different from the other two. The other two are liquid lipsticks, but I thought I would show this third one, which is Max Ruby Woo. It's good to include a tube lipstick as well because you know some people might not like liquid lipsticks and they might like a tube better this was my first ever lipstick I ever bought from Mac it's a retro matte finish so it is very drying like very matte very drying but if you moisturize and scrub your lips before it it's gonna look amazing on you it has that blue undertone in it so it makes your teeth look really white and really pretty when you put it on it lasts longer than other lipsticks that are like a cream sheen finish that look more glossy because it is a complete retro matte and it is kind of like hard to apply but once you warm it up, it works pretty well. And this is Ruby Woo by MAC. The Ruby Woo shade is easier to apply in the sense that it won't bleed everywhere. With tube lipsticks, I always like to use a lip liner, so I'm just gonna use Cherry by MAC as well. If you're looking for a nice lip pencil that will match a lot of different reds, this is a really great one to go with. These lip liners are also really creamy, so they're really easy to work with. Now I'm going to be using Ruby Woo by MAC. So this is Ruby Woo by MAC. You can see it's not completely perfectly lined, but I'm just gonna be taking this off anyways in two seconds. But my lips are matte, there's no shine to them. It's just a classic red matte lipstick. It's not fully kiss proof, but you know what? It's better than some other lipsticks that are red that I've tried, especially these melted ones. They're not kiss proof at all, or they just slide everywhere. This one stays on me, and it's a really nice tube universal red liquid lipstick. And honestly, Mac Ruby Woo is like one of the first ever like classic red lipsticks that a lot of people would wear. I know Taylor Swift loves wearing this one. Also Rihanna, like years before, like her own makeup collection. A lot of celebrities love wearing Ruby Woo by Mac if they're going for like like a beautiful red lipstick. See, I feel like my look is completed with like a red lipstick on. I hope you enjoyed the video or it helped you out. Maybe you discovered some new red lipsticks you'll want to try that will be perfect for the holiday season, especially since that is coming up. And honestly, I haven't even thought about all the stuff I still have to do. I still got like a month almost, right? Like almost a month. Hey, if you want, gift someone one of these three red lipsticks. Just a quick idea. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And like always, somebody if you love it, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. I need to learn how to sit with my back straight because apparently it's more ladylike. I don't know if it's just me. I feel beautiful in a red lip, but also kind of like Pennywise. I must say, my teeth are pretty disgustingly yellow, so this, this stuff really does work. These lipsticks really do make me look like I actually go to the dentist. I do, but not very often. Universal red lipsticks to trick people to thinking you actually go to the dentist when you don't how kiss proof this is. Like, do you see my face? This is holiday ready. I am serving you the turkey, the gravy, the mashed potatoes, the presents under the tree, the tree itself. This, this is what the holiday is made of.